Welcome to the tutorial on general nonlinear equations. In this tutorial, we are going to solve four Cauchy problems for general nonlinear equations, and we will highlight some of the important and unique features of each of these examples. So, let us move to the first problem. So, let us solve the Cauchy problem for uh, this equation. So, first thing you have to identify what is the capital F which defines this equation. So, that is p square minus 3 q square minus z and next uh, second step is to parameterize the given Cauchy data. Cauchy data given here is ux0 equal to x square for x in R. Therefore, x equal to fs equal to s. This is in the notation that we have used in the proof of the existence and uniqueness theorem. It is helpful to stick to the notation. Okay, done. Now, uh, we need to solve the step 1 is to solve char characteristic strip uh, ODEs. F is given like this. So, what is FP? It is 2P. FQ is minus 6Q. And P of P plus Q of Q is 2 P square minus 6 Q square and using the equation, equation recall is P square minus 3 Q square minus Z equal to 0, P Q and Z should satisfy that equation. So, this equal to uh, 2 Z and the equation does not depend on X, therefore the derivative with respect to F X is 0. Similarly, derivative with respect to f y is 0, they do not f does not depend on x and y. So, what we have to compute is f z, f z is minus 1, minus 1 into minus p is minus p is plus p, similarly minus 1 into minus q is q. So, this is the system of characteristic uh, strips, equation for characteristic strips. Now, we have to solve this uh, characteristic strip ODE with uh, some initial data, but as you know the Cauchy data gives us only initial conditions for x, y, z, we need to find for p and q and that is what is called finding an initial strip. So, or completion of gamma to an initial strip. Gamma is given by here and then we need to find p, s, q as solutions to this system. Often it is a case that the second equation is gives us information more quickly because first equation generally is a nonlinear function. And second one, uh, most of the times because the nature of the f and g that we choose, one of them is 0. For example, f prime g prime, in this example g prime is 0. Let us see what that means. In this example, it is p f prime s is 1 plus q into g prime s is 0. So, I do not write that equal to h prime s that is 2s, which means we know now p s. So, that is p of s equal to 2s. Now, we need to find q s. Now, I will use this equation. The equation is uh, p square minus 3 q square minus z in the place of z it is h s equal to 0. But now I have found what is p square that is 4 s square minus 3 q square h s is s square equal to 0. So, that will give us um, 3 q square equal to 3 s square and that will give us q is equal to plus or minus s. Therefore, we have got a two pairs here, p s q s, p s of course is always 2 s, other one is q s is s or minus s. So, thus we have uh, two initial strips, what are those? s, yes, 0 s square, this is f g h part and then p q that is 2 s comma s second strip is second initial strip is 0 s square 2 s minus s. So, what we do is uh, we will solve the Cauchy problem using this initial strip using the second one uh, goes similarly and we will give the finally the answer for the second strip, but we will take this as the initial strip. Step 3 is uh, finding a candidate solution which means solving character characteristic strip ODE with the initial strip. I have recalled here what is a Kara strip ODE. And this is the initial strip, initial conditions given by the first initial strip. I have chosen Qx equal to S here. So, we have to identify which equation is easy to solve. For example, the equation where P and Q involve only and P and Q. 
therefore dp by dt equal to p this i will demonstrate here clearly the solutions later on i will straight away write the answers dv by dt equal to p therefore the solution looks like it will be a constant times e power t right dy by dx equal to y means solution is e power x into constant but now when t equal to 0 i want the initial condition to be satisfied so a must be 2s sorry so this equal to 2s e power t similarly we have dq by dt equal to q that will give us that q of ts equal to s into e power t so we know p and q so we can substitute these values here for x and y uh, uh, in the equation for x and y. So, therefore, dx by dt equal to 2p that is 4s e power t and here dy by dt is minus 6q that is equal to minus 6s e power t. Now, we can integrate and we get x of ts is equal to 4s e power t Okay, integral of this is uh, same plus that constant it should be such that x of 0 s is equal to s when i put t equal to 0 i get 4 s from here so i need to subtract 3 s from here so now this satisfies the initial condition similarly for y this is minus 6 s e power t integral will be again e power t so minus 6 s e power t plus constant but at t equal to 0 i want the initial condition to be 0 therefore minus 6 s e power t i add 6 s now this satisfies so this is xts this is yts okay now we need to find s and t in terms of uh, x and y before that let us also solve dz by dt to solve dz by dt we don't need any information because it involves only z that gives us that zts is equal to e power 2t into constant and that constant has to be s square. So, therefore, what I need to know to find the solution is t and s right in terms of x and y that is what the theorem says solve for t and s from these equations. Uh, so, how do we solve that? So, let me recall what is x t s y t s we have From here you can observe that 3x plus 2y equal to 3s. So, that implies s equal to s of xy equal to 3x plus 2y by 3. This is done. Now, what about t? t is equal to t of xy that is equal to logarithm of 4x plus 2y divided by 4 by 3 into 3x plus 2y of course only when this makes sense this is a, this is the how the s and t turn out to be now if i want to find my solution u of xy what i need to do our definition of u of xy is z of t of xy comma s of xy what is our z of ts recall that is uh, s square e power 2t. So, e power 2t is what we want, we have found t here. So, why do not we compute e power 2t from here or uh, sometimes it is much easy to compute s e power t because that is what is there in our equations for x and y if you notice this combination comes s e power t s e power t. So, if you multiply x and y suitably and add and uh, do something then you can get it of this. So, you get an expression for s e power t directly then you can substitute here and get the answer. So, let us do that. 
So, what we get is S e power t is actually x plus y by 2 x plus y by 2 ok. So, y by 2 will make it minus 3 s e power t plus 3 s when you add 3 s 3 s gets cancelled minus 3 s e power t 4 s e power t. So, you get s e power t. So, this is what the expression you got therefore, u of x y is equal to uh, x plus y by 2 whole square this is the solution. So, if we chose so that is what it is done. Now, suppose you chose the other uh, initial strip. So, this I leave it for you to work it out. What is that initial strip? S 0 S square P S equal to 2 S Q S is minus S. We get the solution as u x y is equal to x minus y by 2 whole square. So, let us uh, have a remark first point is that z equal to u of x y ok. So, what is that one is x plus y by 2 whole square other one is x minus y by 2 whole square. So, z equal to u of x y in both cases contains the datum curve gamma ok. That is what solution is global with respect to datum curve This is true. So, if you actually compute the Jacobian at 0 comma 0 that is actually 0. So, this happens despite that ok. That means, even you have one point of singularity it may happen that you have a global solution. And what is the domain of this solution? Domain of this solution is R 2. What, what better we can expect? So, this is also global with respect to domain ok. Equation is non-linear, but still uh, nice things happen for uh, non-linear equations also it can happen ok. So, with this observation what I want to say is that tools used may not be applicable, but it does not prevent equations to uh, have or from having uh, global solutions ok. Tools of course, when j 0 equal to 0 you cannot apply your theorem existence uniqueness theorem you cannot apply because transfer solidity condition fails. But despite that we had global solution means tools may fail us, but something else actually happens and because tools are only sufficient conditions is not it. Application of inverse function theorem or implicit function theorem they guarantee you certain thing can be done they do not say it cannot be done if you do not satisfy these conditions. So, therefore, nice things can happen. In this example uh, base distinct base characteristics distinct base characteristics do not intersect they do not intersect. So, 3 x plus 2 y equal to 3 s this is the equation of a family of base characteristic curves they are all parallel lines this is in the case of the first uh, initial strip. And in the case of second initial strip it was 3 x minus 2 y equal to 3 s. This is a second initial strip. So, 
so they do not intersect. Okay, let us move on to the next problem. This looks likely more complicated. Yeah. Okay, so what is F here? P square plus Q square plus 2 into P minus X into Q minus Y minus 2 Z and the datum curve U X 0 equal to 0. Therefore, this is S G 0 H is 0 S in 0 1. So, what is F P? From here it is 2 P for the first term from here it is 2 P into Q minus Y. which is 2 into p plus q minus y. What is fq? It is 2q from here and from here it is 2q into uh, 2 into p minus x. Now, there is no p here. Okay. 2p that is coming from p square plus uh, 2 into q minus y yeah q minus y now here is 2q plus 2 into p minus x that is 2 into p plus q minus x now dz by dt after some simplifications will become i am not doing the computation please do it 2x into q minus y plus 2y into p minus x and dp by dt will turn out to be 2 into p plus q minus y 2 into p plus q minus x. Okay. So, this is the characteristic strip of ODEs for characteristic strips. Now, completion of uh, gamma to an initial strip. So, as before this equation gives us P into F prime S is 1 plus Q into G prime is 0 equal to H prime is 0. So, that gives us straight away P of S is 0. So, once P of S is 0 we have to substitute in the equation and get the equation for Q x. So, next thing is f of f g h p q equal to 0 we need to solve, but what is that? It is f of small f s is yes, g is 0, h is 0, p we just found is 0 and q. Equal to 0. So, we have to substitute these quantities in the equation what we get is q square because p is 0 q square plus 2 into minus s into q equal to 0. So, that implies if you take a q common q minus 2 s equal to 0 that implies q of s it has two solutions s and 2 s. Therefore, what are the initial strips? Two initial strips are possible. So, as we discussed earlier initial strips have to be smooth functions otherwise our process does not go through and of course, uh, initial st uh, strips are going to be restriction of the strips coming from the equation right. Therefore, they must be smooth if the solutions are smooth. So, we will not take uh, for example, we could also take q x is equal to s if s is rational and 2 s if it is irrational uh, sorry not s this is 0 yeah we can do this, but we will not do that because that those, those are bad functions they are not smooth functions. Okay. So, f g h that is s 0 0 here one more 0 should be there this is p is also 0. So, comma p for q also 0 this is one strip another thing is 0 0 f g h p is 0 and this is 2 s these are the two strips which are possible. So, let us work with uh, this strip working with this is similar. So, we will not do this we will do with this. 
So, we have to solve uh, the system of equations visibly the system is very uh, complicated right everything is uh, coupled like anything right p q of y appear p q x appear and so on. But if you observe d x by d t is same as d p by d t okay? that simplifies uh, slightly right because d x by d t equal d p by t that means d by d t of x minus p is 0 that means x minus p is always constant that means x and p differ by a constant. So, similarly for uh, y and q. Okay? So, we have to make some simplifications. So, first observation is as I did x minus p d by dt is 0. So, that gives us p t s minus x t s I do not know both of them, but this relation is there is constant and what that constant should be at t equal to 0 what is it at t equal to 0 p is 0 and x is yes. So, this is minus s. So, therefore, that gives us p t s equal to x t s minus s. Similarly, we need to find about q. So, y minus q d by d t is 0. So, that will give us y minus q is constant and what that constant should be here I am taking q equal to 0. So, it must be 0. So, therefore, I get q t s equal to y t s. Therefore, the equation for x we may write it as 2 x minus 2 s. Okay. So, that is nothing but d x by d t minus 2 x equal to 2 s and integrating this what we get is uh, x t s equal to s is minus 2 s x t s equal to s. So, please do this uh, computations the integration of this. ODE. Similarly, the equation for y, y dash, okay, let me do on the next page. Okay, equation for y is y dash equal to 2y plus 2s and integrating this we get y t s is equal to s into e power 2 t minus 1. So, from these two expressions what is that expression for x? x t s equal to s. This will give us an expression for s function of x y is actually x and what about y? y I do not know, but let me write e power 2 t using this s equal to x. So, y by x plus 1. e power 2 t is x plus y is x. So, now the equation for z, z prime equal to 4 z minus 2 s y. On integration what we get is z t s is equal to s square by 2 into e power 2 t minus 1 whole square. Therefore, u of x y equal to x square by 2 into y by x whole square that will give us y square by that is a solution and uh, solution using the other uh, initial strip what was that s yes, 0 0 p was 0 q was 2 s gives u of x y is equal to 
y by 2 into 4 x minus 3 y. So, here both solutions are global. with respect to domain and of course, once it is global with respect to domain, it is also global with respect to datum curve. Nonlinear equation global solutions. So, uh, message is that nonlinear equations does not mean things are always going to be bad. Let us look at this uh, Cauchy problem. Uh, ux cube minus ui equal to 0. So, f is p cube minus q. This is s 0 2 s root s that is the initial curve Cauchy data. Now, this is very simple because f depends only on p and q f p is 3 p square f q is minus 1 p f p plus q f q is 3 p cube minus q okay. that is equal to uh, we can keep it as it is for now okay. and uh, f x is 0 f z is 0. So, these are 0 this is 0. Now, we need to do this extension. So, always concentrate on this p f prime is 1 plus q into g prime is 0, so do not even write equal to 2 s root s derivative with respect to s. And that you can see is actually 3 root s, 3 root s. Now, what is q? By our equation, p cube minus q is 0 that implies that q is equal to p cube that is uh, 3 root s whole cube. That is 27 s root s. So, what is the initial strip? We have got only one initial strip here. S 0 2 S root S, P S is uh, 3 root S, Q S is 27 S root S. So, we need to solve this system of uh, equations. Now, here P and Q are the simplest equations. So, that gives us P T S is a constant and that has to be 3 root S. Similarly, q t s has to be constant that has to be 27 s root s and y t s is also easy y of t s is minus t plus constant when t equals 0 it should be 0 therefore, this is minus t and uh, we have to now compute x and z. So, d x by d t is 3 p square that is 3 into uh, 3 root s whole square that is 27 s. So, therefore, that implies x t s is 27 s t plus constant. So, so, when t equal to 0 I want it to be s yes, therefore, that must be s yes, 27 s t plus s. Yes. Now, let us go to d z by d t that is 3 p cube minus q actually that is 2 p cube because p cube minus q we have chosen it to be 0. So, that is actually 2 p cube. So, which is nothing but uh, 2 into 3 root s uh, cube uh, 2754 s root s. Therefore, z of t s 
54 yes root s into t because this is constant does not depend on t. When t equal to 0 I want it to be 2s root s. So, I add that 2s root s because this is 0 at t equal to 0. So, that uh, if you take 2s root s common 1 plus 27 t is what we have. So, next step is to find out t as a function of x y and s as a function of x y. Okay. So, x t s is equal to s into 1 plus 27 t and y t s is equal to minus t. So, that will give us t is equal to t x y that is very simple equal to minus y and s equal to s of x y equal to x by 1 minus 27 y. Okay, obviously, y should not be equal to 1 by 27. So, something is going to happen when y is 1 by 27. Therefore, solution to the Cauchy problem is given by u of x y equal to capital Z of T x y comma S x y and that will be equal to 2 x root x divided by 1 minus 27 y square root. Of course, uh, x should be positive right? and y should be less than 1 by 27 because the initial uh, data is given on the x axis and y equal to 1 by 27 is here. Solution is not meaningful at y equal to 1 by 27. So, you have to choose either this domain or this domain we choose this domain because this is where it is in touch with the Cauchy data. We want to solve solution nearby this gamma 2. Now, uh, let us give a comment on base characteristic curves. base characteristic curves they are given by this equation okay, for each s in uh, 0 to 1. We have considered s in 0 to 1. So, for each fixed s it is a straight line. This straight line uh, is like this. Uh, for reference I have written x axis and y axis and this is a line y equal to 1 by 27. This point something is happening. The base characteristic curves are straight line they always pass through this point 0 comma 1 by 27 lies on there. That means, all of them are meeting up at this point. Slopes are uh, 1 by 27 s minus 1 by 27 s. Okay. As you are coming closer uh, they are becoming steeper and steeper like that. So, all of them are meeting at this point and u is not defined at y is equal to 1 by 27. So, this example tells us that intersecting base characteristic curves pose a problem uh, stop or prevent a solution from being global that is the problem global with respect to domain and solution of course is global with respect to datum curve in this example. Though existence and uniqueness theorem asserts local existence uh, near with respect to datum curve that kind of solution it asserts. We observe in this example that solution is actually global with respect to the datum curve. Solution is actually global with respect to datum curve, but it is not global with respect to the domain because these base characteristics are meeting up. We will also see in examples uh, 
uh, using Burger's equation in the next lecture uh, that uh, this is indeed uh, one of the main problems even there. And the last uh, Cauchy problem for today is this equation ux plus half uy square equal to 1 and this is the datum curve and f as usual p plus q square by 2 minus 1. Okay. And uh, once again it does not depend on x and z, so these are 0, f p is 1, f q is q, p of p plus q of q is p plus q square. Now this is uh, p into f prime is 0, so it is not there, q into g prime is 1 and that is equal to hs, so q is determined. Now use the equation and get the p, p is equal to 1 minus q square by 2 by the equation. So that is equal to 1 minus 2s whole square 4s square by 2 that is 2s square. So, this is p. So, we have got ps and qs only one uh, initial strip f is 0, g is s, h is s square, p is 1 minus 2s square and q is 2s. Now, as before, Pts is 1 minus 2s square, it is a constant, Qts is 2s, what else is easy, Xts is easy, it is t plus some constant and that constant has to be 0 because it should satisfy 0 condition, so Xts is t. Now, what is Yts? Yts is going to be, Q is a constant, right, 2s, so 2s into t but at t equal to 0 it should be s, so it is this and dz by dt we need to write down slightly, dz by dt is p plus q square, p is 1 minus 2s square, q square is 4s square, so that is equal to 1 plus 3s square, therefore that gives zts equal to 1 plus 3s square into t, when t equal to 0 it should be s square. Okay. Oh, sorry, this is not 3, it is 2, 1 plus 2s square, so this is not 3, it is 2, 1 plus 2s square. Okay. So, t is here, s is here, uh, where is s, t is here, from here we can get for s, this is s into 1 plus 2t. So, what we get is t is equal to t of x y is equal to x and s is equal to s of x y is equal to y by 1 plus 2 x. So, when we substitute in the formula for z, the solution we obtain will be u x y after simplification it is x plus y square by 1 plus 2x. So, once again the solution is global with respect to datum curve, but not global with respect to domain. As we see formula has a denominator 1 by 1 plus 2 x somewhere. So, there is a problem uh, at the point when the denominator is 0. So, it turns out that at that point uh, base characteristics meet up. So, equations for base characteristics is y by s equal to 1 plus uh, 2 x. Okay. That implies y is equal to 2 s x plus Yes, okay. all of them pass through uh, minus half 0, when s is minus half y is 0. So, whatever may be the s pass l s goes through this point, so that is this point minus half comma 0. 
okay. Yes, passing through this, maybe undo. Like that. This is for uh, yes positive. These are family correspond to positive S's, and for the other one, for negative S's, it is going to be like that, and so on. Okay, so, all of them pass through this. So, base characters meet up at this point, therefore, we see a trouble in the formula for the solution 1 by 1 plus 2x. So, the solution surface will be singular uh, at this point, and that is clear by the formula. So, if base characteristics meet, we expect troubles. Yeah, so, this uh, completes the tutorial on. Uh, Cauchy problems for nonlinear equations. Please solve as many problems as you can and in each of the problem analyze if you can find out some expression for the base characteristic curves and see uh, whether they meet or not meet etcetera. Consider all these considerations. Thank you.